attack and there is no damage Welcome back everyone so today we're gonna continue where we left off from the previous episode where we take a look at what EX Dragon team deck is all about so we are gonna use two red candy into our decks because we want to make it more interesting because you know team decks very slow what we're gonna do is we're gonna each shuffle our deck and then randomly select for each other one card to replace with the red candy so once we've done that we're gonna go off and play some games. I'm using the Fire Fang, which is featuring Salamence, while Santosh is using the Wind Blast, featuring the Flygon. Flip a coin, get Tails, and I believe it's Santosh who starts. So we each draw 7 cards as per usual. We are playing the 2003 format when the EX Dragon was released. So in this format, the first player going first is not able to draw on the first turn, but we are able to attack. So here Santos has used the TV reporter. He has to draw three cards and then discard any one card from his hand. Here his trapinch has used big and it's off the miter. It's a really slow paced game because it's a team deck format. So I end my turn with just attacking with my slugma for 10 damage. Santos continued his turn by evolving his Chopinch to a Vibrava and then attaching an energy followed by the dive attack for 20 damage. I'm just dead drawing <laughs> and I continued my turn with just a Luring Flame where my opponent chooses one of his bench Pokemon and switch it with one of the defending Pokemon. The new defending Pokemon is now burned. So when a Pokemon is burned, you put in the burn marker and 20 damage on it. As Trapinch is the only Pokemon in on Santos' bench that was chosen by default to be the active. <laughs> so Santos was able to get another TV reporter by drawing 3 cards and discard any cards from his hand. Our deck each, I believe, only played two supporter each, so that was very lucky by him to get TV reporter back to back. So here Santos got a knockout. And I promoted the peg on. I use the energy recycle system. I can choose either to discard 3 energy from my discard pile into my deck or choose 1 energy from my discard pile to my hand. So there I was just charging up my new mill. While Santos, <laughs> Santos evolved his my Brava into Flygon and starts rampaging, you know? This is how it is. The first guy who evolves takes 2 Pokemon is gonna win this is how slow the format is. Numal had used fire breathing, I believe, and I got hit, though it's supposed to do 20 damage, but Trigon Strand Guard allows Santos to flip a coin and with hits, reduce that damage by 20. Santos attacks an energy and use air slash for 60. And flip a coin if tails discard energy from him. Here I'm sacrificing a Seedra and powering up my. Salgon. I'm just trying to power up into my Salamence where I hope I can turn around the table. Santos has already taken 3 prize, so I'm trying to waste as much time as possible. Okay. 
Yeah, so that's one more down. So if I am able to get Salamence here, yeah, it changes the whole game. But no, I didn't. <laughs> and I use Rollout. I tell myself to flip a coin. And there is no damage. So you see, if I was to have a Salamence, I would definitely change the game because my HP is higher and I am able to do 60 damage to get a knockout. I believe that game, yeah that's a fast one. On to the next game. I had a mulligan, which means I have no basic Pokemon, so Santos is able to draw one additional card. draw on the first turn but he used energy search to search for a basic energy he did that mainly to thin his deck because you know I, I believe he played 18 energy thin decks always come with so much energy and he used bombs on my slugma which me to 40 HP and I'm dead drawing again and I use Ram on his point and he followed that turn with another bounce yeah bounce so I use Slugma Luring Flame this time Santos has more options to choose to sacrifice and he didn't understand why the Magnemite was there let's give the burn damage to that guy and he was able to discard energy and retreat to this point. <laughs> so he used bounce again to put my slug mine to 20 HP. While I used Lure and Flame again and he decided to knock out his Magnemite because he don't see a point in his Magnemite. So here there was a confusion because you're supposed to flip a coin to see whether you are still burned but you are already burned for that turn so Santosh Magnemite is actually knocked out even before you flip a coin so it doesn't matter if you flip a coin Magnemite is already knocked out Santosh promotes Roselia and proceeds with a sleep powder so I have to flip a coin else So I just wasted more time by using potion on my slugma. I'm not waking up so I'll do it. So when I'm asleep I can't attack. So I ended my turn and flip a coin. Santosh proceeds to draw a card and sleep out. And that's my turn again. I flip a coin to see how to wake up. No, I don't wake up. I'm just proceed to charge up my bench Pokemon. And my turn. <laughs> I seem to always wake up when I end my turn by going to my turn while I sleep. Story of my life. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, I believe this is my, yep, Slugma is left with 10 HP. Santos is powering up his Trapinch and evolved into a Brava. So my first Pokemon got knocked out. So we are both high price each. Now he had used Luring Flame and he chose his damage to point. So that point is now 20 HP.
Santos game plan or my game plan is just to freeze time until we get our Flygon or Salamence so that's why we are just powering up my Brava or the Shellgon Then Santos decides to just on and go into my Brava I had drawn into Orfish and I tap the energy to it and then I use Luring Flame but I'm not sure why he gave the Spoink because now that Spoink is knocked out So here, he promotes the Vibrava, does he have a fly one? Or maybe he just wants to knock it out. I believe he just needs one hit from a quick turn to get a knockout. And he got it. We are both two price each. So I only have two bench Pokemon and I decided to sacrifice Corfish. I drew in time another Corfish. I think I have a crowd in my hand but I didn't want to fall because it, it can't attack. So I just end my turn while attacking with Bubble. So he's paralyzed. So when a Pokemon is paralyzed, he can't attack unless he switch. Yeah, so it just ends his turn just like that. This gives me time to attach more energy to my coffees and evolve that Crawdon. It gives 10 more damage if it's active and its main attack is at 50, so technically it's 60 damage. Which is currently my strongest Pokemon I have ever played in this game. Coffees use Bubble again, didn't get hit, so my Brava is not paralyzed. So Jesus quick turn. One hit in the now, because Corfish is weak. <laughs> I promote a big one, hoping to draw into a shell gone. Or maybe I got a Salamence but no rare candy, so I decided to retreat, manually retreat into the Crawdon. And end my turn. Santos just go. Attack! He got one hit, so I draw an energy and I am able to get the guillotine knockout onto the Vibrava. This changes the whole pace, but now Santos has no strong Pokemon setup. The ninja is strong. And it has 2 energy, so you can use Sonic Wing for 30 damage. Is that enough to knock out my Crawdon? Oh, he used Super Sonic. It make me confused. So when a Pokemon is confused, before attacking, the attacker flips a coin and if it fails, it does 30 damage to itself. So right now, I'm left with 30 HP. Here I benched 2 more Pokemon and then I was deciding whether to retreat. But by retreating I can't attack anything so... I decided to go for the big flip. I got tail so I got 30 damage to myself which is a knockout. Santos gets to take a prize. I promote my Numel and it's Santos' turn. Santos is powering up the Trapinch. Hoping to get into the Flygon and free retreat into the Spoink and uses Bounce. I am dead drawing again but I was able to draw into the camera and just end my turn. Santosh may be a hit but his damage is just 10 or 20 or maximum is 30 I believe. So it's gonna be quite a long time until he was able to knock me out. My plan is just to waste time until I get my Salamence. I believe I already had a rare candy or salamence in my hand. I'm just waiting for another puzzle piece to change the flow of the game. So here I'm thinking whether I should power up the Seedra or the Bagon, I believe.
So, Santosh keeps using sleep order. Even if I am not asleep, I have no energy to retreat or to attack. So, I'm just powering up my bench Pokemon. Finally, I draw into a reporter. I hit this TV reporter and discard the Hydra. I end my turn. Santos decided to retreat and go for the ninjas. Get a knockout. Finally, so he is left only one prize. And I decided to go with Seedra. I'm still waiting for that combo to evolve my Bagon. So I'm considering to use Agility, which is if I get hits, I'm able to prevent all effects of attack, including damage done to Seedra. But if I were to use Waterfall, I can set up for a 2 hit knockout next turn. So I decided to go with Waterfall for that 40 damage to prepare to knock it out next turn. Of course, he's still hoping on that Trap Pinch. Like in the first game, Santosh went for the supersonic, hoping to get me confused. He gets still, so just 10 damage to Seedra. I get TV reporter again, so I get to draw 3 more cards. So I got a knockout here. So it's a tight match, it's back to back. Santosh promo 0 earlier. Use a TV reporter, draw 3 more cards. And discard the Grimer. He also played the low pressure system to increase his HP of his Brass or Lightning Pokemon by 10. And he uses a Sleep Order. That's the best thing you can do, to be honest. I keep flipping tails whenever it goes to my turn, and flip heads whenever it goes to his turn. So I was able to get rare candy from the prize, I believe. And I evolved into Salamence, but I can't retreat because I'm asleep. So I will just power up the Salamence. I didn't power up the Salamence. I guess I did. Rosalia, you sleep powder again. I didn't wake up and only evolved into Shellgun. All Santos can do is power out another Torpedo, hoping to get that Vibrava or Flygon. Okay, I get a hit going into my turn. This means I can retreat. This is big. So I manually retreat into my fully evolved Salaman. With Dragon Flame, I'm able to discard an energy card to do 20 more damage. Stimulating Fang doing a total of 70 damage, which knocks out most basic Pokemon in the game, including Rosalia, with his low pressure system. Now, if Santos is able to draw a Flygon, it should be a tight match. But he has nothing. Bounce Bomb! Boom! Dragon Flame! And that's game! We hit each 1-1. One one. Aha! So he actually priced the Flygon, he was waiting for the Flygon, and that Red Candy was in his hand. Hope you guys like a different content besides product opening. Don't forget to like and subscribe and look forward to our next video. Peace!